have you ever been confronted with a situation where you have to make a decision that is justified? That is to say that being able to separate right from wrong as a decision. The concept of ethics is a framework that can be able to specify what aspect of our human decisions are right and which aspects are wrong. Etymologically, the word ethics comes from the Greek word called ethos, that's in normative terms prescribe customs, practices, and codified human behavior. But in the religious sense, we've had various characterizations of the word ethics, mainly to specify good from wrong and what is ultimately a desired behavior that produces a desired outcome or a fulfilled life. As a discipline, ethics is a broad subject in moral philosophy that is able to explain and investigate right and wrong moral actions. In a cultural sense, ethics would then constitute the kind of beliefs and perspectives in societies that depict rightness from wrongness. So in a general perspective, ethics would then be a set of principles that would be able to specify wrong and right behavior and influence actions of humans. And that's the word ethics. It's really incredible if you ever came across a situation where you would have to act correctly, then you know why ethics is really important. And this is really important and would be necessary regardless of whatever you want to do with your life. You would be required to make an ethical decision. That is why the subject is really important for everybody to be able to understand. So the nature of ethics is really makes it an exclusionary principle that is limited to humans alone. That is to say that we cannot be able to expect animal worlds to be able to project certain kind of up, um, ethics in all of those instances. Why is this true? Because humans are moral agents and our level of moral agency is higher than all other animals that exist in the world. That is to say that we have sophisticated cognitive capacity that means that we can be able to reason and separate right and wrong actions. Animals cannot do that. Animals do not have a very binding principled sense of judgment to be able to separate right from wrong. It means that humans can be able to form meaningful social interactions. We have the highest degree of sentience and that makes it very possible for us to adopt ethical frameworks that will be able to guide our organized societies because for the first time in the history of the world we are the living organisms that live in organized societies bound by rules and regulations that we enforce in the first place now ethics as a scientific principle in normative philosophy will deal with the step-by-step -step explanation and arrival at a conclusion of what really constitutes rightness from goodness. Ethics is non-artistic. That's something that is really important and worthy of note. That ethics is not artistic. That means that unlike art, where people would have to acquire skills in order to produce stuff, ethics is just beliefs, perceptions, intentions, and the desired outcomes that they produce. So you cannot be able to link ethics to any form of artistic perceptions okay so ethics is non-artistic but the next important thing we should note about ethics is that ethics is dynamic what means is that time frame and space frame of ethics change it means that what is right the right thing to do in ghana might be the right the wrong thing to do in some other part of the world what is the right thing to do right now might be the wrong thing to do some years to come or even years ago that means that the concept of ethics the concept of rightness and morality in itself varies from place to place varies from time to time that means that it is a dynamic system it's a shifting in positions it's a shifting in perspectives it is not static and that is really important but guys the most important thing that has really been the center of discussions of ethics in recent times has been what constitutes the right universal moral action. So is ethics in itself a universal concept?
can we be able to ever arrive at a set of principles that will project rightness at all times to be correct regardless of the circumstances and all of those things and that is what scientists or philosophers have been trying to find consensus on and over the years we've had some level of consensus and agreement on what constitutes universal frameworks of ethical decisions but hey guys that still doesn't mean that philosophers aren't arguing philosophers argue all the time to be able to polarize views and find middle grounds and be able to make concessions and agreements and all of those things and the world that is we are approaching with a lot of things that are coming up we are really faced with real challenges of what would be considered right ethical decisions and not but until then we got to behave according to what the standards are and society sets the standards our specific environment projects the standards and that really also brings another problem it's ethics is it a subjective decision making process or is an objective view of what should be the right thing to do and those are things that we're going to discuss with the kind of theories we'll be looking up to in this particular playlist and it promises to be very interesting we'll be looking at the various ethical principles the various arguments in normative philosophy and how these can be able to affect your life and how you can be able to let these things work to make you a better person living in a better society as organized but until subsequent videos that will be able to delve into this i urge you to subscribe to this channel and like this video and share it to your friends thank you very much my name is michael Amba, and we're having an interesting discussion coming up